The theatrical makeup on the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland is one look for Halloween that's sure to turn heads. We've invited senior MAC makeup artist Christopher Del Castillo to show us how to recreate the look Helena Bonham Carter made famous in Tim Burton's movie. Hey, my name is Christopher Del Castillo. I'm a senior makeup artist with MAC Cosmetics, and today we are going to do the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland here on Cat. Remember that you're creating a character, and exaggeration is everything for this look. For this look, you're going to need a pale foundation, white powder, a bright blue eyeshadow, black mascara and black eyeliner, a red lip liner, a red lipstick. You're also going to need, believe it or not, a glue stick for this look. Our first step is a pale foundation, and we're going to use it all over the face, and it should be about two or three shades lighter than your natural skin tone. The idea here is not to get a clown face. It's more of a Marie Antoinette sort of paled out skin tone. Don't forget to apply foundation to the ears if the ears are going to be shown. The next step is to apply a non-translucent white powder all over the face. I'm applying a generous amount of white non-translucent face powder to the skin. Apply the white powder to the face until you achieve a sort of unnatural porcelain-like quality to the skin. Make sure to also powder into the hairline. And of course, don't forget about the ears. The next step is to apply glue stick directly to the brow to flatten them for this look. The idea here is to get the, the hair of the brow to lay flat against the skin so that it looks like there's no brow. The next step is to take a concealer in the same shade that you use for the foundation and apply it over the glue stick. From the eyebrow to the cheekbone, you want to blend the concealer in the pale color so that it completely hides the eyebrow. The next step is to take the white powder that we use to powder the face and powder over the eyebrows. The next step is to take a bright blue eyeshadow and blend it from the lash to the new brow line that we're going to create. A way to help you find the right line is to take a brush and create your shape before you actually fill it in so that I know where I'm going with this shadow. Now we're going to take a black eye pencil and we're going to draw an artificial brow line above the shadow that we just filled in. Create a very villainous shape with the eyebrow. Follows the shadow shape very closely. Finish the eyes with a generous amount of mascara on top and bottom. Moving to the lips, trace a heart shape at the center of the lips. Starting from the center and placing the top parts of the heart directly under the nostrils and mimicking the heart shape down to the bottom lip. Your heart can start out a little bit imperfect and then you can take some time to perfect it with a lipstick. It's almost like a, a take on a 20s lip. I'm going to finish off the lip by adding my favorite MAC lipstick, Ruby Woo. And for the perfect finishing touch, a beauty mark placed right on the left cheekbone. To really take it to the next level, pick up a nice orangey red wig and top off the look. And that's how you achieve the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland. Have a great Halloween. Thanks for watching Bella Sugar. Stay beautiful.